Now, when you think about a 43 inch computer monitor, a lot of questions can come to mind. What am I gonna do with one and why do I need it? Can I just use my TV instead of buying an expensive monitor? Well, I've been using the 43 inch 4K monitor by Philips and I'm gonna try and share my experience with you and also answer those questions. First, let's talk about the monitor itself. It's big and it does need quite a bit of space on your desk. Second, you must be at least two to three feet away to use this effectively. Otherwise, you'll have a really tough time navigating your eyes from one end of the screen to the other. Of course, you can connect multiple display sources simultaneously, and this one can take five inputs, one VGA port, two HDMI ports, and two display ports. Except the VGA port, all four can deliver 4K, but if you want to use 4K at 60 FPS, you're better off using the display port. There is a 200 mm visa mount at the back, so you can wall mount or else you get these brackets that you can screw in and place it on a tabletop. And most of these monitors come with speakers built in. This one, the Philips 43 inch has two 7 watt speakers. They're decent at best, you know, you can't depend on them for professional work. But if you just want some sound coming right off the bat of the monitor, you know, you're watching a YouTube video or you're just having some music in the background, they're perfect. And just in case if you're wondering, there is no tilt, swivel or height adjust, especially in these big monitors. And if you still need it, you can mount it on one of those arms and then you can use that to adjust the height or distance or even angle. Now I connected this to my Windows PC and right off the bat it was good to go. You may require certain calibration in terms of color profile or temperature, but once that's done, it's as crisp as you'd expect a 4K display to be. Colors look really good and very similar to how you'd expect a high-end monitor to deliver. Obviously, this is not HDR, otherwise the price of this would have been much higher, but boy, it would have been great to have that. And by the way, it is 10-bit color compatible. That is, it's got two to the power of 10 colors that it can address. That's professional grade. Now, here's the deal. It did take me a while to get used to that size. The first week was particularly very difficult. But after that, I sort of got so used to it and everything else started to seem too small uh, once I changed. So I went back to the 43 inch. I'm a pretty heavy user of Adobe Premiere Pro for editing videos. And wow, it is such a breeze working with this big screen because now I can see everything very clearly in terms of what I shot and all the controls are very easy to access because I've got so much real estate, I can have all controls up front so I don't have to switch between tabs. And with this monitor, you can also get pretty productive. You know, a 4K monitor is as good as four 21 inch monitors put together. So you can have four windows laid out in a grid and you can work across them. So you can have multiple windows, multiple software or apps open and accessible at the same time, depending on how you lay them out. So from a multitasking perspective, this is an absolute essential. But things can get really crazy with a monitor like this. You see at the back, there are four different inputs. There are two HDMI's and two display ports. So essentially, you can display those four sources independently at the same time on the entire screen. Now you might say, why the hell would I want to do that? Well, it's an option, you know, it's just a flexibility that you've got with a 43 inch screen. It's totally up to you whether you want to slice your screen into four displays and, you know, have different inputs or you want to have different inputs, but have them show up one by one. So you can just keep cycling between sources. I'm just here trying to give you the use cases totally up to you as to how you want to use this. But I have to tell you, this is a big screen. It's going to need a lot of space on your desk. So ensure that you have that and that you've got enough depth. You have to be about two to three feet away at minimum to be able to use this effectively. Otherwise, you'll just have your eyes going, you know, like left to right. And it's just going to be really odd. You'll never get used to using it. Now, having said all of that, this monitor and this size is not for everyone, obviously, you know. So as long as you can derive a use case for yourself, given everything that I've told you about the monitor, then great, just go for it. I mean, if you're someone who's got a lot of devices and you wanna be able to connect them and show it all up together in one go, that's, it's perfect for that. And also, you cannot use a TV to replace a monitor. You can use a monitor as a TV, but not the other way around because Computer monitors have extremely high density. So the text that you read is extremely crisp and clear. On TV, that text is always going to have a little bit of a halo around it, and that sort of deteriorates the entire experience. 
and also there is an input lag especially when you're moving your mouse or when you're playing a game you'll experience that lag on a tv that the monitors don't plus monitors can come up with really high refresh rates that are great for again gaming as i said and having a very quick response time less than five milliseconds which is perfect um, for high precision gaming so tvs are kind of getting there uh, but not all TVs can be used as monitors. So if you're looking for a monitor, get a monitor. And then you can use that as a TV, but not the other way around. Anyways, so that's all I really had to share about my experience with a big 43 inch monitor. If you've got any questions, feel free to drop them in the comment section below. I'll obviously answer them. And as always guys, thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button. I'll see you in the next one.